think we know that immunotherapy and PD-1 blockade and, and specifically has been just transformative for the management of advanced kidney cancer. But at the same time, we also know that there's a lot of patients that just don't get a lot of benefit, durable clinical benefit from these drugs. And the determinants of response or resistance, what are the mechanisms, really is an unanswered question in kidney cancer. Now, this has been explored in a lot of other cancer types, but kidney cancer is different from a lot of other cancer types. As opposed to melanoma or non-small cell lung cancer, it has a pretty modest mutation burden. Also, in contrast to a lot of other cancer types, it has a really robust CD8 T cell infiltration. So this standard hot versus cold paradigm of response resistance typically doesn't seem to fit for renal cell carcinoma. And so with this sort of background in mind, knowing that there's one, a clinical need to really understand these factors, and two, also knowing that we can't necessarily extrapolate from other tumor types, we sort of endeavor to investigate what are the immune and genomic determinants of uh, response or resistance within PD-1 blockade.